Hello and welcome to my tutorial video for the Google Ads platform. In today's video, we are going to learn how you can edit an auto-creative ad within a Google Display campaign. Now, before I proceed, please subscribe to our WebWorks YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with all the happenings in the digital marketing and analytics industry. Just coming back to our main point, why do we need to know how to edit an auto-creative ad within a Google Display campaign? Well, there are multiple reasons behind it. Firstly, you can maximize the effectiveness of your online digital advertisement. Secondly, you can serve timely promotions to all your audiences. Thirdly, if you fine-tune any of your ad messaging and visuals, then you can align your online marketing strategy with the overall marketing strategy of your business. And lastly, by editing the auto-creative ads within a Google Display campaign, you can enhance the awareness and reach of your online ads and then stay competitive in the market. Now, for majority of our existing clients, we have strategized and implemented an auto-creative Google Display campaign as part of the Data Health Kit job we completed for you. Now today, for demonstration purposes, we are going to work on the WebWorks Ads account. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, if you want to log into your own Google Ads account, just simply open up a browser window and type ads.google.com and you will be brought to this particular screen. You can simply click on sign in on the top right hand side of the screen, then enter your email and password and log in to the dashboard of your Google Ads account. Once you have logged in, you will be brought to the dashboard of your Google Ads account. Now, it must be noted that Google Ads platform is a dynamic product. What it means is that they like to update their features and visuals on a regular basis. So the dashboard you are viewing on my screen might look a bit different on your screen. But anyway, the basics never change. So we're going to speak about the display campaigns and how we're going to edit the auto creative ads within. We have to make sure that we have selected a display campaign in our Google Ads account. But in order to do that, what you need to do is simply click on top left hand side where it says view and then just drop down and select display campaigns. Once you have selected that filter, you will only be shown the display campaigns in your Google Ads account. Now, for demonstration purposes, we have selected the display outreach display campaign, which we created for WebWonks a while ago. So we are going to edit an auto creative ad within the display outreach campaign. Now, once within the campaign, on the right hand side in the sub menu, you have to make sure that you click on this particular section under ads and assets, which is called ads. So once you have selected that, all of your display ads or auto creative display ads will be shown to you. Now, in order to edit a particular auto creative ad, you can simply hover over any display ad and click on this small pencil and that will take you to the editing video for that display ad. But what's the best practice behind it? If you want to edit an auto creative ad, you do not have to edit the current copy. This is because historic data is associated with that current ad copy. So what can you do? You need to start fresh, but not from the scratch. So we simply select the existing ad copy, click on edit, and then click copy. Then we deselect the existing ad copy, click on paste, and then we select the particular ad campaign, which is display outreach, and select the particular ad group, and then click on done. After that, we will be shown two options. That is, do you want to pause the new ads after pasting them in the ad group? Yes, we do not want to set the new ad copy live unless we have made changes to it. So we select that. After that, if ad already exists in destination, create duplicate. Yes, we need to make sure that is selected. Otherwise, the new ad copy won't be created. So we select that and click on paste. Now what Google will do is it will just create a duplicate ad copy of our existing ad. 
Now, once the new ad copy is created, it will start showing under this particular section, add, and it will be paused. You can see that it is currently paused. Another thing to keep in mind is that once you copy and paste a new ad copy in your scenario, it might not show you that. You might only be able to see the live or enabled ad copy. What's the reason behind it? The ad status filter. You might have selected enabled only, and this is why you will only be able to see the live or enabled ad copy, not the new one which you created, because the new one which you just created will always be paused. Anyhow, once we have done that, we need to edit the new auto creative ad copy. So, how do we do that? Hover over the new ad copy and click on this small pencil icon here and click on edit. Once we click on that, we will be brought to the editing section of the auto creative ad copy. The very first part is the URL. That is, if a person or a user clicks on your display ad, where will they be taken on your website? Which page of your website? So you need to select that and then you can edit that if you want to. What's the name of your business? You can enter that for the images you can select up to 15 images. If you click on edit, then you can select up to 15 images. The best practice is to have half of them as square images and half of them as landscape images. Logos, very important. You should have at least two logos in there, one as a square copy and the second one as a landscape copy. For the videos part, you can include as many videos as you can, but please make sure that your videos are uploaded on your brand's YouTube channel. If they are nowhere to be found on a YouTube channel, you cannot include any kind of videos. You cannot upload any video files from your computer device. They have to be uploaded on a YouTube channel. So once you have done that, then we move to the textual part of the ad copy, which is firstly the headlines. You can have up to five headlines. And what we recommend is have the maximum number of headlines in your ad copy. That improves the ad strength. The other one is the long headline. It has a bit more character limit as compared to the short headlines. And then you can add the long headline. You can only have one long headline in your ad copy. Descriptions, same as the short headlines, you can have up to five descriptions in your ad copy. Now, there are some best practices when you start typing the text in your ad copies. For example, if we are talking about this particular sentence, you can see the first alphabet of the word not is capitalized. Second is getting, G is capitalized. This is basically recommended by Google. The second most important thing is, if you can, please add a call to action in your descriptions or if there is enough characters available in your headlines. For example, talk to us about how we can help you. Contact us today. Get in touch with us today. If you're an e-commerce business, shop online, shop now, buy online to induce as many offers to the audiences as possible. Now, if we talk about the lower section of the ad copy, there's a drop down here which says more options. You can select that and click on call to action text so that there is a specific button appearing on your ad copy. Now, if you're an e-commerce website, you can always choose shop now. If you're a service-based business, you can click on learn more, contact us. If you have an appointment, kind of a business, then you can select book now. If you have subscriptions or courses, you can select apply now. There are so many options related to that. On the right hand side, whatever text and visuals you will select for your ad copy, you can preview them in your preview window. This is how your ads will look like on the third party websites and applications. Google will mix and match the headlines, descriptions, images, and videos in your auto creative ad and serve the audiences with the best available combinations. So once you are done editing the ad copy, 
simply click on save. Once you have saved that, Google will save the new ad copy. And then what you need to do is simply set your new ad copy live and just pause the old ad copy. Now, once you have done that, Google will take some time in order to enable and fully approve your new ad copy. Now, this was all about how you can edit an auto creative ad in a Google display campaign. Webwonks offers an extensive range of products for the Google Ads platform. Therefore, if you have any requirements for your Google Ad campaigns or the Google Ads platform itself, please feel free to get in touch with Webwonks. You can give us a call or you can visit our website, webwonks.com, for further information. I hope you liked the video. If you did, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. Any feedback can be written down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.